Hello, it's Thea Daniels with Raw Vlogcast, where we talk with people about what's real, they're authentic, and they're willing to share their passion. I got Mitch Polzak with me here tonight. We are down at the Bostonian Ballroom in San Diego, and he just tore up the floor. I got a video of it. You guys will see that. So, Mitch. Hello. Hello. Hello, friends. <laughs> uh, what is it that you would like to share with people about... What got you started with music, rockabilly music? Well, I've, I've always been listening to this music on a, uh, from my parents. And when I was uh, 13 years old, my mom gave me a nylon string guitar, a book of chords, and a DLP of Johnny Cash live at Folsom Prison and said, figure it out. So I started to learn that uh, Folsom Prison Blues by ear. And then at uh, Christmas time, and then at uh, Memorial Day weekend, we went up to a church camp and on the Sunday night, like Follies, I played the worst version of that song you ever heard, but at that point I knew it's what I wanted to do, is to play this music, and started practicing and practicing and playing, and you know, it, the, the more you learn, the more you realize you don't know, which means that you realize how much there is to learn, and that the you're never gonna be bored if you keep improving. And that's where the fun is. So much fun, connection over perfection. Ooh, I like that you one. Know, if, if we're all feeling the music, then the music is being the catalyst for lifting us up, and that's, reflecting the human condition, which as we know, is quite the spectrum of life experiences and music will articulate that in a way that nothing else can. Yes, yes it does. So what was it that you were playing? Tonight? No, 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 no. When you were playing that, when you decided this is what you wanted to do. Oh, I was playing Folsom Prison Blues. The guitar, and the singing. mandolin, or Oh, it was, the it was on banjo. the guitar. Yep. Okay. So the guitar was the first instrument. Okay. And then wanted to learn banjo, then started to learn banjo, and then started to learn mandolin and keeping it going on all three. Um, and he does keep it going. And so tonight, what is it? How did you get invited to be down here tonight? Uh, Christopher Burkhart, who I'm so grateful that he invited me down with the band and especially for this show at the Bostonia Ballroom because of the history here. And, mm -hmm. you know, so many of my heroes have played here. Right, and, like who? Oh man, uh, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, of course. <laughs> Hank Williams, Ray Price, Patsy Cline, Buck Owens, Merle Haggard, Merle Travis, Joe Mathis. The list goes on. And, and you know, I'm sure Red Simpson played here, Red Sovine played here, and probably Wynn Stewart. You know, this this is a hub. This is a hub. Les Carrot Top Anderson. We saw a shirt in there. <laughs> so, uh, so it's. It's, it's a pretty special place. They do have a pretty cool museum going on in there right now. So, you, I watched you on TV, or I guess on social media, with COVID. And you've got this thing with hamsters. Yes. So, these cute little hamsters, what are those all about? Well, the, uh, the show was uh, my wife's, Marlene's idea, and we started it a week after lockdown. And we decided that, that, that we needed to get uh, we needed to get people smiling. So we do two shows a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. One called Banjo Bonanza and Mandolin Extravaganza on Tuesdays, and then live from the Polzak Ponderosa on Fridays. So I had these these little animated hamsters that play dueling banjos and a friend of mine gave me those and like you know what people need to smile right now and sometimes like like the silliest goofiest unexpected thing will make them smile so you know my mom gave me a taxidermy frog with a bass and then we have another little like oh eight little, little little beer bottle with a hat and plays a jug and so it's like it became like this makeshift band that starts every show and they're called the high strung hillbilly hamsters and it just gets people smiling laughing going what did i just turn in tune into we call it the happy <laughs> Happiest place on the internet. So it always starts to show off to get people in a good mood. And then Marlene and I do the show, and it's a it's a it's a true team production. She's the director, uh, producer. We call her the CEO of Hillbilly NASA. Uh, is in charge of running two cameras, multiple computers, and then you know I, I, I do the musical portion of the show. Mm -hmm. So it's a great collaborative thing that we're still doing because of the community that's been created around it. And so he's not only doing live; he's online. Yep. And providing the music for all of us. That way we can reach more people online too that couldn't make it to shows or that mm -hmm. are farther away or maybe have young families but still would like to hear the music and or introduce their kids to the music and say, hey, check this out. And, and it's interactive musical television because, so, uh, you know, as the comments are going by, it's a very welcoming group. We call it the Jerk Free Zone. Yes. And uh, people, you know, tune in. If somebody's new, we welcome you. Like, hey, welcome to the show. This is awesome. And and uh, people are, are very friendly. We celebrate birthdays. You know, 
we just we, we let it all hang out and we just we all want to be there so it was it's my birthday special. yesterday i know happy birthday i know this isn't all about me but it's my birthday i love birthdays <laughs> me too birthday month like we were talking earlier yes uh, that's right celebrate all month long and how can people tune into you well, uh, go to www.mitchpolzak.com, and that gives you all the information for live from the Polzak Ponderosa, which is broadcast both on Facebook under the Mitch Polzak profile, as well as YouTube. So if you don't have a Facebook account, no worries, you can still tune in. Awesome. Yes. Okay, lastly, what drives your passion? What do you want to share with everybody that this is all about you? Well, it's all about all of us. And that's the, that's the passion there is that just to connect, you know, and celebrate this music. This music is so dear to me, and it's just, it's so truthful, it's so honest, and it's inviting. And to do it really well, while I'm here for the short amount of time I am, is the driving factor, is that it brings me, I get the ghost, it brings me so much joy. And if, if I can be just a catalyst in that, and have other people pick up on that. Bring happiness and joy to the world. Yeah, and you know, if, if you're if you're down the dumps, like it's, it's it's an escape. If you're flying high, it's 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 telling the story. Yeah, it's all the things. So that makes life good. Yeah, that's what, that's what drives it. I don't try to recreate anything. Just try to be present. That's awesome. I think that's a good way to wrap it up. What do you think? Sure. Thank this you for awesome. inviting me for the uh, for the interview. Thank you so much for doing it. All right. <laughs> okay, everybody. Mitch, I get to. Uh, Posts, publishes, yes. yep. awesome. Good. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>